Hey guys here, Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys my review of the Galaxy Note 3 after five months of usage. This is the phone that I've been using all time long, ever since I got this phone. So I figured I do a review, especially now that the phone finally got um, KitKat a couple days ago. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I gotta mention out of this phone is that I've been loving the screen of this phone. This screen is a 5.7 inch screen. Uh, it's a 1920 by 1080p resolution and it's, uh, it has around 386 uh, pixel per inch. Um, this is the technology of the screen is a uh, super AMOLED screen um, So that means all the blacks are gonna be very very deep black and all the colors are gonna pop out very very beautifully So honestly, I've been loving this is one of my best features of the phone. It's the screen Obviously everything looks beautiful uh, gaming here looks beautiful um, Watching videos on YouTube here in HD looks beautiful and of course uh, I use this uh, um, this phone uh, for watching a lots and lots and lots of podcasts and everything I'm telling you all the podcasts in full HD they just look gorgeous on this phone my other feature that I've been enjoying the most here is the camera of this phone. Uh, this phone has a very awesome camera and it has a lots and lots and lots of features just like the Galaxy S4 had. And it take, this phone actually takes it up a notch by recording at 4K resolution which is very very freaking awesome. 4K resolution on this phone is uh, 3840 by 2160. And it uh, records 4K, but it's at 30 frames per second, which, which, which is still a very good feature. Um, here in the back, it has a 13 megapixel camera. And in the front, it records, uh, it has a 2 megapixel camera. And I think it also records at 1080p, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but, you know, I've been enjoying the camera a lot. Of course, I got family, got kids, I got dogs, got pets, and all that. And, you know, I, I haven't got... I haven't been regretting getting this phone for the camera. And another great feature as well, if you're one of those that like to take selfies, uh, the beauty face feature is a very cool feature. It'll make it will, it will actually make you look a lot better. You can see how it fixes your face, like your pimples and all that. It tries to smooth smooths your face very nice and it takes, at the end of the day, it takes a very, very good image of yourself. So that's a very cool feature there. But, you know, the camera here has been very, very freaking awesome and it takes great, great, great freaking images and videos as well. Another thing to keep in mind of this phone is the specs that it has inside of it. Uh, this phone has a Snapdragon 800 that is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and it has the, uh, the latest, you know, Adreno 330 which is very good, that's a great GPU. And of course, one of the great features of this phone is that it actually actually has a three gigabytes of RAM, a RAM which is very, very freaking good, very awesome. Uh, it, that, that combination right there prevents from the phone from lagging when it comes to playing games, when it comes to watching videos and all that, uh, when it comes to navigating and all that as well. It gives, it gives the phone a very, very good sense of speed and you know I love it and it also makes the phone uh, also future proof as well because um, believe me um, th those three gigabytes of RAM makes makes a whole lot of difference when you have lots of apps that are open in the background and it still keeps the phone running fast which is very cool that's something that you want especially when you're playing games and when you're doing multitasking feature here as well that right there the internal uh, specs of this phone and the gigabytes of RAM it's awesome and the, um, the storage that this phone comes uh, by default 32 gigabytes is perfect they should do Samsung should actually do that to every freaking phone because touch quiz as it is takes a lot a lot a lot of a lot of space uh, from your um, storage it's one feature that separates this phone from every other phablet and it's the S Pen feature um, S Pen feature is just freaking amazing including uh, since the last uh, this the Galaxy Note 3 actually came out with um, Air Command, which is just freaking awesome. Uh, which lets you, for example, if you if you slide right here, do like this, uh, you can open up an app that will, you will be able to have it floating on the screen as well. And of course, if you want to minute uh, the 
minimize it you could do that and you could keep on doing other things and you could hit it again and you could just open up again over here and that uh, but the feature that I've been using the most of this air command feature is the action memo uh, why because of because of my job right for uh, for for example on my personal job I am a law enforcement officer and sometimes I, we, we get bolos which means be on the lookout for somebody right so um, when we write we receive a bolo right away you have to have a pen and a pencil right away so if you don't have one at the moment you got to go crazy looking for it and to before they actually put out the bolo and the thing is um, um here you know it's perfectly well you could write down the bolo right here and i go ahead and click and save it and save it and it automatically adds it to my action memo app not just your normal phablet um like it is like there is in the market um so yeah the s pen feature for me is just just freaking amazing and the great thing is that it doesn't matter what launcher you use on the phone uh, this feature will always be available just like this so no matter what feature you use or what launcher you use on your phone uh, this feature will always be available I honestly don't use TouchWiz that much right now I've been using it lately because it just got KitKat and I just been trying to see if there's anything different here on this phone but the launcher that I've been using the most on this phone is lately has been um, everything me right here uh, let me tap on it uh, this has been the launcher that I've been using the most I love it very very much so and I can't wait to go back to it I'm just trying to touch with uh, for the time being the other great feature that I've been loving of this phone is the battery life. Um, this phone has the battery life is a 3200 milliamp per hour battery life. The one feature that a lot of people don't talk a lot, a lot when they're talking about this phone is the USB 3.0 port um, this port what it lets this phone do is that when you connect this phone to your computer it uh, the transfer rate is very 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 fast very fast of course if you're using a USB 3.0 port on your computer the transfer rate is very very fast I also you can use two type of cables the cable that comes with it which is a, a thick cable which fits perfectly there and you can also use the normal on uh, um, you micro as micro USB cable which is the one that's compatible with every other smartphone there is in the market so that right there it doesn't matter which cable you use you're still gonna have a great um, battery um, charging time uh, which is the next thing that I want to talk about this phone this is the best phone that I've had that the charging time has been very 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 fast um, honestly I can ch put this phone to charge with only 10% of battery life and in less than an hour it could be all the way up to 90% already um, that's just mind-blowing I love this phone just for that um, how many times how many times have we seen my um, mom um, Android phone with big battery life and the charging time is very very freaking slow there's a lot of phones out there and I've had very very bad experiences even prior Galaxy phones but thanks to this this charging port right here on um, the the charging time of this has been just freaking amazing it doesn't matter where you I plug the phone to charge it I it could plug it to the car even using a cheap um, AC charging um, uh, dongle that goes into the car even using that the phone still charges very very fast so that's something that I will miss when I get my next phone that's a very feature that I will miss the most the USB 3.0 port Another thing that I want to share with you guys are the cases that I've been using with my phone. Uh, first of all, I've been using this case right here, which is a Caseology case. This was a very cheap case I got from Amazon or eBay, I can't remember now. And it was only, I think it was like eight to nine dollars. And I like it very much because it has a very nice pattern here in the back. It makes the phone not slippery at all. And it also has, um, you know, has a nice border here as well. Or you can see all your ports of your phone. Um, and here you got your charging port as well. Very cool case. I like it. Uh, the other case that I got also is on this one that replaces your battery cover. Uh, this is not the real, um, the real... Um, Samsung case uh, but this case actually works very very good you will not get the 
the S cover features here on this on the phone unless you install one of those um, apps that lets you do uh, enable S cover features but I gotta say it's very cool I honestly stopped using this case because I got this case uh, this case right here I like it very much because it works as a stand and you can actually adjust your phone to any angle that you want and it also protects your phone very very good and it has this right here if you drop your phone it's not gonna open up and if it opens up doesn't matter because the phone already reached reached the ground so it actually protects the phone very good and i like the combination colors it looks very very cool and the quality of the case actually so far has been standing up very good uh this case wasn't uh that expensive either i think i paid ten dollars or thirteen dollars for this case something like that and I gotta say, been loving it. And this is the case that I've been using the most. The only negative thing I would say about this case is that it actually has a little bit more bulk uh, size of the case, which uh, of the on the phone, which uh, you know, it's okay. But that means I can't put the phone no more on my front uh, sh uh, shirt pocket. With this one, I could have, and with this one, I could put the phone on my front on my front shirt pocket but this one i have to put it in my jeans in my um, pants pocket so that's it now for the bad things there's this is kind of funny because there was two things i was going to mention before i got the kitkat update i was going to mention as my negative cons of this phone the problem is i can't show you now because with the new release of the kitkat update uh, those two cons that i was going to mention on my video have been fixed which is great but i wanted to show at least two cons you know you know i don't want to i don't want people to see oh he's being biased off the, on the phone but there was i'm gonna mention them anyways so you guys can know what problems i was having with this phone uh first first problem that i noticed was the call wi-fi the wi-fi calling this is a, a feature that is exclusive right now for um, t-mobile it lets you use your wi-fi as your you know as your main access when you're making phone calls over your wi-fi it turns off data and it turns on the wi-fi and it, all your calls goes through wi-fi that's an awesome feature that i used to use a lot on my nexus devices which was a, a had that feature as well but guess what i could not use it on this phone because every time uh, i got somebody I got a phone call. I could listen to the to the person talking to me, but the person that I was talking to, they could not listen to me. It said is I sounded like a robot. I sounded all gibberish. Everything that was going through there was all gibberish. And I and I deactivated this feature, which is right here, the Wi-Fi calling. I turned it off, and the problems went away. Now that was a problem that was very 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 freaking annoying. Because I couldn't have good at her at home, I don't have very very perfect service uh, when it comes to data, and this is a feature that solves that problems when you're at home. But thanks to the latest update, this feature has been fixed for me at least. Okay, there's another bug that it was very very popular on this phone that was when you turn off and restarted the phone, sometimes the phone will stay on the T-Mobile screen and it will never turn on. And no matter what buttons you press, no matter you, sometimes I even take off the battery and put the battery back in. No matter how many times I did that, sometimes it wouldn't even turn on. And I was about to turn in, turn in the phone. But until I went online and figured out that the bug that was causing that was right here in Wi-Fi, go here to advance, and this feature right here was causing that bug. So the, the way to solve the problem was to deactivate this and just go back and that's it, problem solved. You could restart your phone and it will load up perfectly like it should, like it should. But once this thing was activated, your phone would stop loading up. It would just stay on the T-Mobile screen and no matter everything you did on the phone, it would not turn on. And it was just freaking um annoying and scary as well because sometimes i said okay i guess i got a brick phone now it doesn't work but thanks to the latest update with kitkat that i've been testing it over and over again and it's been restarting perfectly so i would say that the cons of that i was going to mention are no longer there 
which is a very, very big plus for me and for this phone as well. And that's it. So like I said, guys, um, I've been enjoying a lot the hell out of this phone. I really, really love the screen. The screen is just freaking beautiful. Everything that you do and play on the screen just looks gorgeous. Uh, here, I love that you have all the feet, all the all the toggles right here and of course easily the auto brightness feature on this phone you have it right there very accessible so um everything of this phone i love it i love what um samsung did with this phone especially the back cover they, they made it look a very a little bit more elegant by putting the stitching looking leather like cover and i gotta say it looks very very nice so thanks a lot for watching this video if you guys have any questions just let me know and i'll try to answer them see you next time